and uh, freaking awesome. That's all I can say. But uh, as you can see here, I have <clears throat> laid down some voxels pretty much in a row. I've got a solid piece, and then I got one that's basically every other one's cut out. And uh, uh, the, the first part of this is something that uh, Hitsu uh, showed me, and he's a guy that contacted me in YouTube and then contacted me here in the game and wanted to show me, you know, his method of making these certain voxels. And I'm like, cool, you know, I'll hop over there and check it out. So, um, so we jumped over to Hitsu, and um, I'm going to show you what he showed me, and uh, it, it starts out with voxels, and. Uh, I'm going to grab a section here. Let me grab just half first, and then we'll, we'll make another uh, section where it's a, just a little bit longer. So let me do this right quick, and just drop these down first. And I want to show you this beginning stuff first, because this is what we showed off yesterday. <clears throat> and um, But I had these two little sections. I just dropped them down. It, it doesn't matter the length, okay? Uh, so, But we're going to just put these little rows down first and uh, it took some time playing around with this to figure out exactly what it was he was showing me because you know of course I'm looking over his shoulder sorta and we, we, I can't see exactly how his tools were working and stuff but um, I'm gonna kinda go over this and kinda show you right quick because it is pretty darn phenomenal if I take my line tool <clears throat> and I come along the side of these voxels and I'm going to put this to a 3x3 three three, like this and I'm going to click on this outside face okay right here on my side I'm going to run around to the other side onto the last voxel and basically I'm going to click here now if I look at those voxels now from one end to the other you see that it has collapsed them into that angle that we created so there's a lot of things we can do with this I mean we literally have created you know voxels that are smashed in on one side you know comparatively to like this right here is a standard voxel you can see this the size of it right here but if I come down to the center and click here you can see it is smashed in on that one side very fast way of modifying that that voxel to something that we might need you know that is the probably the coolest thing in the world right and at the same time these ones in the center we've made like a little panel out of that that voxel in the center but these two on the ends I don't know if we could use them but yeah, maybe some point in time we could probably use something like that but uh, this changes depending on the length of section that we're using and let me go ahead and make a short section let's grab something like this and we'll put this one right beside that so let me drop this in right here we'll slide this over and we'll click okay now I'm gonna do that same technique on this side with the 3x3 three three, and then we're gonna come over to this other end and click it on this face as well and you can see there's a slight variance in between this one and that one it's all based on the the length that we're working with okay and I made this really long one here and you can see how this one progresses as well click here run around to the other end and onto the other side and I'm going to click here so if I look at this one, you can see we've got a gradual, slow progression from a standard voxel all the way down to the center. And this right here is very freaking useful because we have all these variances and we can create like a slow incline of something or, or whatnot. Now, like I said, this was created or this technique was showed to me by um, this uh, gentleman named Hitsu, H-I-T-Z-U very cool guy and I, I, I'm glad he reached out to me to show to show this off to me now um, <clears throat> one of our members Addy um, saw this technique and he had an idea and it just like I've got an idea let me try that you know and um, so he was playing around with it today and literally I'm gonna show you what he came up with to add on to that and it was pretty phenomenal he took a solid, 
uh, like this. And let me let me take a short piece, and we'll just kind of go off the short piece and just make one big long one. Kind of like what we did over here. We'll do three different pieces. And uh, from here, I'm going to drop one. And we put down this next one. Kind of here. And then one more next to that. Hi, Mr. Bucket. Piper Lay, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. And uh, we're just going to put like these in a row, okay? And uh, I think you're going to be pretty impressed with this. And that would be two. And there's my two for that. And then one more on the end, and we'll be set to go. Um, so I got three different sections and three different lengths, right? Now, this is going to be kind of, yeah, <clears throat> and Eddie, you know, but I'm, I'm going to do like all what we did with the, the, the ones over here so you can see the differences in between them. And we're also going to be, I'm going to make another copy of this as well. And this one is going to be different materials. And I should have set that up before, but I didn't. But if somebody could take this right here and alternate a pattern in it, uh, something like the tan stone, um, paint this up and like literally just like alternating colors, you know, like two different colors. If they could do that for me, please, that would be really awesome. And, uh, but I'm, okay. Um, so I'm going to kind of jump into this one right here, right first. And we're going to do that same exact technique on it on these on all three of these. So we're going to hit here on the very last voxel on this side of the face, and come over here, and we're going to do it on that. And you can already see some of the, the how this thing's kind of shaped out. It looks kind of funky, but um, it'll make more sense once we get in there and um, literally paint it up after afterwards. Now, Addy figured out that um, it treats these differently if they're already painted and then they also um, versus solid. So that's uh, another thing that was kind of um, figured out with this. But you can see that it, it pretty much treated all three different, you know, the same where we had that little buckle where it crosses over between the voxels right in the center here, here and here. So we literally have this little angle. And uh, but if I come in here now with that, that tan stone, and I'm going to paint these every other one. So I want you to take a look at the shapes that are being formed in this as we kind of go across this. All right, so there's one. And this one, I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I'll just go down this uh, the length of this, but you can see the angles that are being created um, by doing this technique. And it, I thought it was freaking just pimp, just the way it uh, kind of reacts, and it creates some voxels that um, normally wouldn't be created elsewise, unless you use like a reactor or something like that. Okay, and. Uh, now because it's helping me out with uh, painting all these, I uh, appreciate that. All right, so let me jump in here and try to paint up a few of these as well. We'll kind of knock this out as quickly as possible. And but you can kind of see what we're what's forming up here is uh, these little angles. Okay, and but these little angles we have. Literally, you can see how they're kind of forming here. And if I grab this one, you can see the shaping that it has formed. It's literally flat on one side, and it has that bevel. Okay. Now, um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna make one more section. We're gonna make one a little bit shorter than what we had before. We'll copy this one and bring that out just in case if we need it. Then we're gonna do that one over here, and I'll do that one last. But that is doing it with something that's literally solid, all one material, 
And this other one we're going to do with it um, basically striped between two different materials. And uh, I believe Eddie said it came out a little differently each time. So we're going to go with the three here. A three by three um, line tool. And you can see this one right here, it became straight. And acting kind of like what we had in the very beginning. If I come over here and do it, pretty much the same thing. And over here, let's try this. And I honestly think that there's a possibility it could be orientation as well for doing this. But we have this gradual slope that it creates. So let me come back over here. And let me grab this. And I'm going to change the orientation as well. So just to make sure that uh, if that actually has something to do with it, we're going to do one that's orientated in another direction. So like that, okay? Now I'm going to take this small one and let's click over here. So it came out differently. Now let's try this other orientation and see if that changes. Well, for some reason, it's not coming out the way the Addy did, but basically this this is what happened when Eddie did it. It's kind of, it's literally stretched these voxels and um, literally pulled them off to one side or the other. And uh, it might have been my, the size of this as well. So let me go with a bigger one. Let's try one that's a little bit bigger. And this is a five by five. So let's try that didn't quite do it either. Let's try this orientation. I can't seem to get it to do it, Eddie. What did you do differently? <laughs> but you can see the or what happened here. It literally stretched these voxels into this, and that's what we're trying to figure out here. Smaller lines, okay. Well, I did go with a smaller one there, so let me. He did like an eight voxel section, so okay, let me try that. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna just follow Addy here. Maybe he can uh, kind of guide me in the right direction. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try here. Let me bring this back down to my three by three. And let me paint this one up and see if it uh, did what we want it to do. Oops, I need another material. Uh, let's go with this. Ah, there we go. That's looking a lot better. Look at that. And he's using an eight by eight. Um, this is wicked, and I'm gonna I'm gonna explain why this is wicked and why it's such a just badass. Okay, so we're looking at an eight voxel str little string, or nine voxel, or something small. But it's coming up with this this pattern here, and this is pretty awesome because watch this. If I copy that center piece out and bring it over here and I drop it down like so I put it into the same orientation I hit V to mirror and I, I basically offset it just a little and paste mirror it in the opposite direction like so I drop it down a little and I click it V to mirror and paste it again Look at the shape that we have created. We have created something that you would normally use or normally create using a voxel reactor. And this is pretty awesome because uh, this right here will literally make uh, making lattice a lot easier. Now I can copy that section <clears throat> and bring this up and hopefully I can get my orientation right here. Bring this up over one more voxel. 
I've got to bring it down just a little bit more, I think. <clears throat> but literally, check out that lattice that we have just created. That's uh, pretty quick. So uh, that's another way to kind of play with uh, what we learn from one person and that person, you know, taught me and I taught somebody else and they figured out something else they could do with it. And between all that, I mean, you can come up with all kinds of stuff with this. And uh, Eddie's got something else here. Let me find him. He's pulled out another one, I think, and is working with something. That is a smaller section that he has done, and he's literally created this small little panel using that, okay? So, <clears throat> and all these different shapes that he's pulling out of this can be used in multiple different ways. You know, just doing all these, these, just, it's crazy how this is kind of coming out. Now, if we take a, I want to try something, Addy, and I, I know this is kind of breaking it off a little weird, but I want to try something because I think this might work in another way and we can literally create something that's even thinner than this. So I'm going to try something right quick. And I ho hopefully you don't mind me doing this for a second. But I want to take a voxel. We'll bring this up and we'll hit check. And then I'm going to make a... Um, basically a reactor. I'm going to change my colors here so you can see this a little easier. And we'll kind of color that out. And I'm going to grab this and I'm going to copy it. And uh, let's bring this down and over. Oops. I did something wrong first. Hold on a second. I need to shrink this down a little bit. I'm going to put that uh, that little square section there, and then I'm going to smooth it so I can shrink this down a little bit. Why hasn't it shrunk? There we go. Make something smaller. Go back to my selection, copy it, and then paste this over top of this here. I can get this thing lined up. I'm going to paste without air. So I've made a panel. And if I take this panel and I copy it, and I think we were working with a eight in a row. So let's do eight in a row of this. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we literally just pasted them in a row here, and I'm going to do that same trick. We're going to come on to the side and come right to the very end, and we're going to click here and come over here and see if this works. Like so, and we'll hit check. All right, now if I come in here and paint it, let's see what happens and see what it looks like. Oops. All right, and I probably missed a, no. All right, <clears throat> so I basically just made panels and, and pulled this out, but you can see what I've kind of created here. It's not exactly perfect, but this is something we might be able to work with here. Let me pull this out and let's drop this down and see what it, what we can make with it. So we got one, reverse the orientation, click, V, that kind of fixed something there that looks pretty cool. And click. We got a different pattern, that's for sure. And if I play with this a little bit, I can probably come up with something that looks really clean.
<clears throat> but uh, I think one side looks better than the other, but you can kind of see the potential for what you can actually do with this. The more you kind of play with it, different sh shapes, different sizes, uh, you can do what we did in the very beginning with microvoxels and literally form little strings with it. You can, um, just various little things that you can do with this. And I thought that was like really cool and I really wanted to kind of get that out, right? Now, um, Spooty Man added on even more to that because he was playing around with this exact shape and he found out something that was really cool. So if I take this shape here and bring it up and let's rotate this onto the side so it's ver you know vertically facing like this. And if I take that shape and I paste it down and I go up to over to these kind of fit in a pattern sort of and uh, some of these come out really clean some of them doesn't but um, I thought this was kind of cool but we can literally form like a shingle look in a way with this one that I just created but some of them really come together like literally side by side and they really look cool so let me drop this down so that you can kind of see what you can kind of create with just the one that I just made you can create like a almost like a shingle look uh, with this. If we take one of these that uh, Addy put down earlier, which uh, I think, let's go with this one, and we'll do kind of the same thing. We'll pop this down, bring it up, and hit our tilde and rotate, get a vertical orientation like this, and we'll drop this one down. And see what it looks like. You can see that we, these things are fitting like literally end to end and you can literally make really thin like angles with it. Pretty cool, right? So we've got like all this little stuff that we've just kind of come up with and it's simple. It is simple to make, okay? Literally it's an eight voxels wide little string of standard voxels default voxels and then we take a line tool and put it on one side and then we go to the other side and we put the line tool down and boom we've created something that would normally have to be created in in a voxel reactor and we don't have to now because we've literally created it right there what was the size of the smooth uh the line tool you were using again three uh, I use the three by three, and but I don't think that really matters uh, for something like well, this. I mean, uh, you could probably go bigger. Seem to work on this one. Okay. Uh, I must be doing something wrong. You talking about this one right here? Yeah. All right. All right. Let's see here. Let's let's redo that in. It's a solid piece and three and three. Doesn't matter if it's painted all the same color? Yeah, that's the way I've got it here at least. Yeah. So you can see that angle that has been created right there, and I think it's because it's a, you've got mixed colors. If you go in and if I did the same thing here, hold on a second. Yeah, I think that's it. If I did it uh, alternating colors like we did here, yeah, get another texture there. Yeah, that's it. It's got to be the same color. Yeah, it has to be the same color to get that uh, that line out. And I think Eddie said something about that earlier. It treats them differently if they're um, a solid color versus a mixed color. 
Interesting. Very cool. Very cool work there. And like I said, playing around between and that's another thing. Let's I'm gonna show off this um, doing it with microvoxels. I mean, this was something that was kind of cool to me at least. I'm gonna grab this string of. Well, I'm gonna grab that friends list, I guess. But <laughs> um, I'm gonna grab this this string of microvoxels, and these are the alpha ones. Uh, I really haven't played around with it with the uh, the newer ones or the different orientations and all that kind of stuff. But uh, this is something that we showed off yesterday, and uh, I'm gonna paste this one down, mirror it, and I'm gonna drag this. Why is it doing that? There we go. It doesn't work correctly half the time for some reason. It's gotten kind of flaky here recently, but uh, I'm going to basically make one string that's alternating this way. And now I'm going to make another one right beside it that's uh, right the reverse. Let's drag this down, something like this. Hopefully I can get this thing oriented. So we're putting the tiny ones together in the center. Right, let's put that one there. There we go. Yeah, my arrows are flippity floppities on me here. For some reason, let's uh, let's get this kind of orientated somehow. There we go. Let's go with that. Looks good. But I've created two. One's going from small to big in the center, and the other one's going from big to small in the center. And we're going to basically just do the same exact thing we did with the other lines over there. We're going to take the line tool and click this outside face. I'm going to go to the other end and go to the opposing face and I'm going to click here and you can see some of the stuff that is coming out of it and then I'm going to do the same thing that I did with that one on the other one starting with the small little microvoxel here. Let's run down to the other end and we'll paste in. I've got all kinds of stuff that's like floating over here and I don't know what that is but you can see it treats them differently slightly and you can come out with these little uh, strings on various different lengths and they, they go from the center to the outside and they all come out just slightly different in some form or fashion or there might be something in there that you could use. I, I don't know. It's something that I'm just getting that information out there to let people kind of play with it. But uh, like I said, the, the, the first thing was showed to me by Hitsu. Uh, then Addy took that and ran with it and found something else that was really badass with it. And then on top of that, then Spooty found some stuff in there that was pretty cool. And we that was even added onto it even more. So the more people that can kind of play with this, you might be able to find something else that's even cooler. And uh, I think this would be kind of cool if we can take all this and figure out what we can do with it and possibly make some boards that's you know to get them out to the people so they can play with them and I thought that was kinda cool but we just had to start the stream early so I could show that I thought that was uh, pretty darn interesting and uh, definitely wanted to get that information out there so but these are all different things you can do with that simple one little technique but that right there was probably one of the groundbreaking things because this right here this right here by itself that angle normally you would have to make that in a reactor and I thought that was like wow you know so but these are all just different things you can do with that one simple thing and it's a tool that's right on your bar and um, what you do with it I don't know but if you find out something cool let us know so we can get that information out and uh, very awesome stuff I appreciate Addy for uh, coming over here and fixing my little F up on that but <laughs> or my poo my uh, my little pooping of it 
Um, but you do have to have it solid and it has to be right around eight or smaller to kind of uh, pull out one of these angles. But I thought that was just, wow. Seriously, wow. But uh, yeah, I, I, I just had to, to kind of show that off. I thought that was just wicked because you can literally make the lattice with that. Uh, and normally you would have to have a reactor or playing with uh, roaming vectors or something to create that. And that's the first time I've ever been able to see it created without doing that. And I thought that was just, wow. So what do y'all think? What yeah, it's cool. Very cool. Very cool stuff, man. I swear. But um, hopefully, is Pharrell in chat with us right now? Is he in uh, the stream here? Because I think he would just go nuts over this. I don't see him. Nope, he's not here, but Fagazi's in here. I know he's going to run with it. That's the kind of stuff he gets gets all into. Oh, Mr. Bucket. The Silva, what's up, man? Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. And why ain't you in Colossus? Like, seriously, you need to be in here, man. Um, if you're not a member of Colossus, it is an open guild. Be Feel free to come and be a part of it. Um, Basically, this is the stuff we do. <laughs> Freak yeah, man. Damn, Mark. Wonky, Bort, and just a little bit jumbly wumbly. <laughs> Something like that, right? Um, it does have its quirks, but at the same time, there is like so much cool stuff in here, it fixes it all. And uh, Hilani's over here just going at it with that little angle. That is pretty awesome. What'd you do? Fill that up with putty? Yep. Wow. That's really cool. Man. Um, you, pretty much anybody and everybody is, is free to come be a part of this, honestly. Um, Currently, I think we're up to like uh, almost 60 members now, and um, all different aspects of the game. You know, it's pretty awesome. So, uh, but you can um, you can message uh, almost any member that's in here, and anybody that you see around here uh, has the ability to invite. We got Natika, we've got Aowen, we've got Halani. Um, see Shyla's back there, Addy, Healy, any of these guys. You know, feel, feel free to message any of those people if you want to, to come be a part of this. But uh, I thought that was freaking awesome. That was just mind-blowing. And he's, Rave is over here just going at it like normal. I mean, he does some, this is the kind of experimentation Rave does by, by the way. You know, he, we find stuff like that and Rave always goes crazy with that. Look at this. I mean, he's just tearing it up over here. And I was hoping to get Rave over here in TeamSpeak, and uh, I'd like to find out if Rave wants me to go ahead and paint these for him. Because I got the feeling that's going to be his next little step here. So let me see what I can do here. One, two. One, two. One, two. Oops, skipped one, didn't I? One, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two. But look, I mean, look at the angles that are coming out of that. That is pretty wicked. He, he's all over it over here, so I'm I'm just going to try to fill in the gaps for him. And if you don't know who Rave uh, Starsight is, Rave Starsight is pretty much the guy that has helped me for a very long time setting up the shows and, and that sort of thing. And, um, you know, couldn't have ever done my show without him. You know, he's 
been pretty much that important. Um, Tim, he, what climb are you on? I am on the, what's the name of this thing? Tim, Confidence Rack Station. Yeah, Timma 2 Workstation. That pretty much did that. One, two, three, one. Okay, there we go. So you can see the variance between the sizes uh, when doing this right here. I mean, look, take a look at that and the different shapes that are coming out. This shape looks like this shape. That has a slight variance from this one. So we've got something else kind of going on in there. Um, what's possible I don't know I mean it's it's something that you're gonna to have to literally uh, play around with it and see what kind of comes up but um, I think this is pretty freaking wicked here it's one two one two two oops back up but you can kind of see what's uh, Oops, I missed one there, didn't I? The shapes that are coming out of that is pretty darn phenomenal. I I am really shocked at the way that thing kind of came out. I but, made something pretty, pretty sick looking. I'm going to bring it here in a second. Okay, cool. So Spoo Spooty Man's got something he's bringing over here. That's awesome. But, um, it's a little shape I pulled out of this. But you can kind of see that this is... Uh, these shapes that are coming out of this is just freaking amazing to me. And you can use these for all different kinds of purposes. I just think it's freaking awesome because literally that is a shape that I have been trying to make in a freaking reactor for a while without having to uh, trying to figure out a way to make it without using a reactor for forever because that's something that I've been wanting to use strictly for the use of being able to make the uh, those lattices and that is exactly what he's it's been solved we now have a way to make it without using a reactor it's freaking awesome love this and uh, it, it's just I, I think it's just awesome There he is. Ah, there he is. <laughs> I was hiding. I know you were. Oops. Shrek making it into a new bargain? Um, I guess he is. Um, this is, like I said, this thing that you've created here, uh, using that technique is freaking awesome, dude. Like literally, it solves so many problems that, oh my god. And I, I know Pharrell is going to love this. Did you see this uh, roof that was stuck next to him as well? Um, they act like tiles, kind of step down. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what I was kind of talking about earlier. You can literally make roof tiles out of this, and that was kind of what I was demonstrating over there. But um, Yeah, look at that. It's, they're offsets, they're literally offsets here, and uh, that's perfect for freaking roof tiles. <clears throat> I swear to God, I just the I, a human imagination just blows my mind, dude. Spooty Man's made something over here with using these shapes, and uh, this is going to be interesting. Yeah. Let's let's see what Spooty. Man. Yeah, I had trouble testing something that I brought from our club as well. As soon as you swap the um, service or islands, it's, your paste goes bogged. Let me go template it. Yeah, you, you can't copy it and bring it over. It won't, for some reason, it never freaking does that. I hate that too. <clears throat> oh, we're, we have a quad. And we're going to be like doing a, a poll to find out what we're going to be uh, building tonight. But we're going to be doing a group build just like we did last Saturday. And um, 
it's on whatever subject matter you guys kind of come up with but we literally ran into a wall of just badassness and um, had to show it off just had to so uh, yeah we're doing another like Flintstone type thing but this time it's gonna be a different subject matter and you guys get to choose whatever it is that we build and we're literally going to do it on another quad we've already got the quad set up and uh, we're just going to freaking run with it and it's going to be freaking awesome and fun I'm telling you but this this is groundbreaking I mean look at this right here I mean this is what I was talking about with the reactors um, to create some of those shapes you had to make a reactor to put it in and pull the sides out of it and find all these funky shapes and stuff to make it do this and with this you don't have to do that anymore I mean look at that that's a Roman vector right there that's a Roman vector there and there to create that same exact shape and I know this is probably hard to see here on the screen but these are individual blocks like this here um, basically it's a three by three by three and if I pull one of those out and I pop it over here and if I put a voxel on the inside okay I can manipulate a corner of this in some form or fashion you know I can let me see if I can do it with this and uh, I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about if I manipulate one corner like this it changes the shape of the one that's in the center okay now but to create this particular shape right here you would literally have to create shapes on the outside to replace these voxels to do this type of a shape here and give me a second while I place it in there you would literally have to create those shapes right here with the sharp point and this one with the sharp point this one collapsed in on itself to create that shape and um, this would be the only way to actually create that shape outside of this but now we figured out a new way which is using the line tool and it comes out just wow you know um, it's literally it's a groundbreaking technique for this and you can do all kinds of stuff with it you can create stuff like this which is uh, like a lattice work. I've got another copy of it over here. Right here, you can do stuff like that. And that's all using the line tool. We've got something over here that uh, Eddie's working on. Uh, Spooty Man's got something that he's going to be bringing over here in a moment um, that he's been working on with this shape. And we've got a bunch of people over here just doing all different kinds of stuff with it. It's pretty darn amazing actually um, the stuff that's that was pulled from this one technique that it was a guy named Hitsu he contacted me and um, basically said you know hey I've got this this way of making these certain voxels and stuff if you want to check it out and I was like okay I can, I'll come over there I'll take a look and um, it started out with this here it all started with this right here and Addy took it, he run with it, and was playing with it, and magically, he figured out how to do this with that same exact technique, and then it, it, it just basically has exploded from there, and you can see all the different stuff that uh, can be created with it. I mean, you've got like this tiling that can be made, you've got that lattice work that can be made, um, you can even use the um, do it with micro voxels and create those little strings at various different sizes like this which is pretty cool oh here we go this is something that that spooty man made just with parts that he pulled out of that so look at this that is monstrosity dude that looks like a like an ogre hammer head or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hey, that's going to be perfect for your ogre uh, colossus, dude. If, and if you look at it from this angle, the spikes go down at forty-five degree angles. 
Let me see where you're at first. Kind of just flat on looking straight towards the points. Go down oh yeah, it does, like don't it? And this is stuff that he pulled out of all, the, all those little pieces there, just stacking them up, playing around with the little stuff the there. Only thing, the only thing that isn't is these three voxels inside the middles. Uh, other than that, the three voxels I just placed to finish it. Dude, that is so freaking wicked. That does. It looks like, a, I don't know, like a mace or something that like an ogre would have in his hand. Like, Rah! God, that is so freaking wicked. And just before uh, Tim uh, started his stream, um, Spooky was messing with these ships and he was making stuff like um, scoops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. And stuff that looks like it may go on jet engines, you know, the um, vents. Or like the uh, like a hood scoop. Kind of like a hood scoop yeah. or something. He, he made one of those and it, it took him like seconds to do it. Like literally. Uh, man. Explosion. New technique. Pow. And uh, I'll kind of go over this uh, technique right quick, and it's up for you guys to, to kind of play with this. Uh, those that are just joining and has no clue what I'm talking about, um, I'm pretty sure there's a few in, in the stream that just is just now joining us or whatever. Um, it has to be a short bar like this, okay? And you want to so fill it solid with, with a particular one material. Okay, it can't be alternating or it won't work. But fill that thing up solid. Take your line tool, create like a three by three uh, voxel line tool. We're going to click here, and we come over here to the opposing side and click on the last voxel over here. And you'll know you're pretty much dead on because it'll create these small little angles on the ends. Now we're going to change material types here and do like an alternating. One there. One, two. One, two. One, two. And we just do that alternating. And you can see what it just crea was created in it, that angle. And you can use this one or you can use this one or even the one here on the end in various different ways. And this is a eight voxel line. Now, once it gets longer, it stops doing that stretching. Um, I'm, we, we'll have to play with it to find out where that cutoff point is. Um, but that is an eight voxel, and you can do it on smaller pieces, and you can kind of see what became of that. Oop, where did Rave take it? He had something over here. He, had a, he must have uh, took it upstairs or something working on it but he had we he literally had it all lined out over here and was playing with it and you can see all the, the different sizes literally like from a like an 11 I think all the way down to a one and he did it on each one of those and, uh, so because I used the uh, I did a vibe and we got a really thin slipper yeah yeah so I wonder what the other small ones would do <laughs> Heck yeah, Ren. We tore it. We tore it up, man. Did you see the 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 score at the end of that thing? Oh my god! Team Fluffy Unicorn destroyed. Yeah, we did. That was awesome. That was a lot of fun. It really was. But um, I would like to give a uh, hundred percent of the credit to the guy who made those crystals. Oh man, those crystals were awesome. That was uh, Portivar that created those. Yeah, those are nice. So, but yeah, this this is what we started off tonight, and I really had no plans of doing tutorials tonight at all. But man, that really freaking exploded, and uh, really did. I mean, just man. Way to go, Addy. <laughs> yeah. 
I didn't really spend too much time. I just I was listening to you back at the Monster Build um, demonstrating the the solid one color sphere against User the checkered sphere. Channel. Yeah. And I thought I'll I wonder if that has a, a difference to this that you showed us last night in last night's stream. I, 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 I can't speak because I can hear my echo voice. <laughs> yeah, and apparently it does. Uh, apparently it does. Um, man, seriously groundbreaking little thought process there, really. And, um, man. But who's I trying to... South wall. I moved him over there to get him out of my way. Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. But, um... Man, it's amazing how much came out of that, dude. Like, seriously, he, Addy took your thought process with the uh, rotating the circle and with the different materials. That's what kicked this off. You know that, right? Did you ever know that you're my hero? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> 